Hello, this is the second in a series of short videos explaining how to use some of the different blend modes in Procreate. Today we're looking at the Multiply blend mode. Multiply takes the information from the base layer and multiplies it by the blend colour. So you'll always get a darker colour when you use the Multiply blend mode. Blending with black will always give you pure black, while blending with white will have no effect at all. And then if you use the colours in between, you'll get all kinds of different effects depending on how light or how dark they are. You'll often see the Multiply Blend Mode used for shadows and shading, but today I want to show you how I use it for adding a paper texture overlay to my designs. Let's go and grab a paper texture from Unsplash. I'll put the link for these two in the video description. Then you want to come back into Procreate and import the paper texture into your document. Rotate and expand the texture if needed so that it fills your whole canvas. Let's just hide that one for a sec and move it out of that group. So this is the pattern illustration that I've got here. So let's turn this layer back on. You want the paper texture to be on the topmost layer. And now you can set the blend mode to multiply. And you'll see it blends down the paper texture onto all the layers underneath it. You can still carry on adding layers underneath here and drawing on them and you'll see the texture will still be also applied to those. If you find the effect is too strong, you can go up here and reduce the opacity on this layer. You can turn that down for a more subtle effect. On this texture that we've used here to start with, I'm just going to set the blend mode to normal and put the opacity back up to 100. It's almost pure white, so it doesn't affect the hues on my illustration underneath. But what you want to do as a good rule of thumb is to always go and reduce the saturation down for your multiply layer so that it doesn't affect the hues of what's underneath. If I bring this other paper texture in, let's go and find the other one we chose. Let's bring this in and also expand this to fit the document. You'll see this one has got more of a yellowy orange tinge to it. So when we change the blend mode on this one to multiply, it's going to give a yellowish tinge to the drawing underneath it. So what you want to do is make sure you're on the paper texture layer and then go up to your hue, saturation and brightness and then just bring the saturation down to zero and then we will just have pure greys, blacks and whites on that layer and it's only going to be affecting the brightness as opposed to the colours. So that's just one way I use the multiply blend mode in my illustrations. How do you use it in yours? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching and if you enjoyed this video please consider subscribing. If you want to take a more in-depth class and learn how to make your own paper texture overlays just like this one here then head over to my top teacher channel on Skillshare where you can find a class on creating digital canvas overlays. Thank you for watching, have fun, stay creative and I will see you next time.